Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in Revit architecture. I am architect Sonu Rai from Glad Studio and in this studio video tutorial I am going to teach you what is visibility graphics in Revit and how to use it in your architectural plan and in other projects. So I am going to my architecture tab and you can see this tab here. I am going to click this and you can find visibility graphics here and if you see the definition of the visibility graphics it says overrides the default visibility and graphics display of model elements and annotations in the current view so if you want to uh, change the visibility graphics of your walls doors windows and if you want to uh, make it a hatch pattern or any other we can use uh, visibility graphics display options and shortcut command for visibility graphics is vz so if you will type uh, vz you can also go to uh, this visibility graphics overrides of the floor plan so uh, you can also go to your view tab and you can select visibility graphics here and now this is the window for visibility graphics and it will say this is the model categories and in model categories there are many terms like areas columns and doors and windows and walls you can see a lot of the terms so uh, suppose if you want to show walls here you can see this the tick mark if i am unchecking this here you can see the wall will disappear from our plans here you can see all the walls are disappeared so uh, i am going to again click this visibility graphics here busy and uh, i am going to again my walls here and i am going to click this checkbox here and if you want to turn off your doors or uh, windows you can uh, go to this doors and uncheck this apply okay and you can see all the doors have been disappeared from this plan so likewise uh, this is the use how to turn it on and turn it off like you use autocad layers in um, autocad so i'm going to click again visibility graphics and i'm going to doors again and i will check this box and apply so likewise uh, this is for model categories and if you see model categories here so uh, suppose this is wall here and this is the projection or surfaces and in projection or surfaces you can see line pattern or transparency there are three categories so projection or surfaces means your 3d views so not plan view and cut view is your plan view like uh, we are working here in this this is cut view and if you go to your 3d view this is your projection uh, view in uh, visibility graphics so it is just conceptual stage yeah, i am going to show you this is just conceptual stage so this is the projection and you can override it in cut plan and projection so i am going to again click visibility graphics and I am going to my ground floor plan here. I will cancel this first. And I am going to ground floor plan view. And I am going to busy. And I am going to check this doors again here. Apply. And OK. So you can see all the doors have returned. And now I am going to change the visibility of this uh, walls here. So I will show you an example of wall. So I am going to select this visibility. Uh, graphics here VZ and I'm going to again wall and now I'm going to my cut plan view that is my floor plan view and you can click anywhere in this box like if you want to make any changes in line and patterns of this wall so you can uh, select this cut plan here and you can click the wall column here you can see this is the wall and you can see this is the cut plan there are only two categories lines and patterns and position of surface there are three categories line patterns and transparency so if you want to make any changes so i'm going to click on this wall here and you can see this option override so we are ready to make any changes so suppose i want to change the line of the wall i am going to select this override here and you can see this is the line graphics it will appear and in pattern there is no override so if you select this you can always select the this kind of line if you want to select this dash line and you can select ok and apply 
can see all the walls here are in dash line so likewise you can select so i am going to select here over right and i am going to change the color to blue here okay and you can also change the line width from this weight here and suppose if i want to make a wall thickness 10 here and i'm going to click apply and okay you can see this is the wall and its color is changed to blue so likewise you can use it, use it this for your architectural project in whatever way you want to present to your client your 2d plan so i'm going to visit with graphics again and i'm going to again wall here and i am going to make to default so i will select this and you can uh, select this clear override okay apply okay and you can see it has returned to your uh, original state so likewise you can clear override so i am doing this visibility graphics and i am going to wall categories here and now if i am selecting again this override lines you can see uh, this three dots here so likewise you can see uh, select the line patterns other line patterns also you can create new one also you can delete the li uh, line patterns also so this is for basic understanding so uh, so i am going to clear all right here okay apply so again i am going to select this next pattern here in walls here so i am going to select patterns this was line so I'm going to select in cut pattern. So I am going to select this override and click it. And you can see this fill pattern override. So this is the foreground pattern here. You can see no override is selected by default. If you want to solid fill your uh, walls and present to your client, you can select this solid fill. And uh, I'm not going, going to give any color other than black. I like black. So I'm going to click OK and apply okay and you can see all the color of this wall has become solid field in black so you can present in whatever way so i'm going to again so some other settings so i'm going to move this wall here and i'm going to uh, make it to a uh, brickwork here if you want to make brickwork hatch pattern and if you want to apply any color also you can apply color so suppose I'm going to apply red, okay, okay, apply, okay, and you can see this all wall color is in red pattern here. It will uh, bring your cursor, and you have to wait for a few seconds so it will be appearing in your in your plan. So you can see this wall edge pattern in your 2D plan. So I am going to again visibility graphics and i am going to clear overrides here and apply and we have returned to our default stage and uh, if you come here this is half tone so if you want to show in half tone colors you can simply click this half tone box here and you can apply and all the walls will be in light color so whatever if you want to show your window in half tone or door in half tone you can select this option visibility graphics again and I am going to uncheck this box and apply okay and we have returned to our the previous stage so likewise you can apply for doors and windows and whatever things if you are working on your project you can use slowly and you can start learning to use this visibility graphics so uh, this is detail level so suppose uh, if you select this walls here and if you select here in you can see coarse medium and fine so this is the uh, detail level you can use this by view so this is by view and you can see this uh, detail level here also fine both medium and coarse so we are in course so you can use it by view so again uh, i'm going to my projection or surface so suppose uh, if I want to show my walls here in uh, lines here so I'm going to select this line 
and override and I am going to select this color as uh, blue here and click OK and I am going to increase the line weight to 12 OK and I am going to apply OK and now we are going to 3D view and can. so you can see uh, this visibility graphics of this wall uh, lines is has changed to blue color it was black so likewise I am going to again to my projection setting here and I am going to my wall here and I am going to select this and I am going to increase the line weight to suppose I am going to increase higher number to 40 and apply and ok and you can see this line weight has increased to 14 so likewise you can do settings I am going to click visibility graphics and I am going to clear overrides ok and this is pattern so I am going to select uh, brickwork here and I am going to uh, this color override and I am going to select red ok and ok apply and to this pattern and I am going to select this foreground color also solid filling and I am going to apply color here blue ok ok apply ok and now you can go to your consistent color you can see this has become blue and you click here visibility graphics and if you come to wall here you can see this uh, background color as solid fill so likewise if you want to change to brickwork here you can select brickwork and click you can select any light color here click ok apply ok and you can see this has become to brick pattern here so likewise you can present to your client in projection so mostly we will use this cut pattern of project so this is uh, about your using lines and patterns and i am going to clear overrides click ok apply and ok and you can see it and we have to to our previous step now i am going to uh, visibility graphics again and I'm going to walls here and now we will use transparency so I'm going to right and I'm going to increase the transparency of the wall here and I'm going to click OK apply OK and you can see our wall has become transparent if you want to show some interior parts also you can use this transparency in uh, visibility graphics in projection or surface going to again this wall here and I'm going to clear this transparency and I'm going to use clear overrides ok apply ok so this is the brief introduction about how to use visibility graphics and uh, if you want to make any changes in your uh, annotation categories so suppose if you want to change your uh, room tags you can use this uh, options like uh, roof tag, roof tax, room tags, and I can also select this and change your uh, projections here, like line graphics, and you can practice it. So there are some more other categories which are for advanced level. So mostly we'll use model categories and sometimes annotation categories. So this was the brief introduction about visibility graphics, and you can practice it. So this was the today's session and the next session I will come with some more interesting topics in Revit. So thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thanks.